Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1907 of What You Have to Know. Today we're talking about the idiom and the expression being on a roll, as well as our spiritual, and mostly with, with respect to spiritual well-being for the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge, our practices, our routines, our rituals, our habits, the things that we can do to enhance and make it easier to achieve the level of spiritual well-being and spiritual health that we want, which comes from our spiritual goals. So I shared 15 different ways, and we've talked about many of these, uh, you know, self-care, meditation, gratitude journal, dream journals. You know, journaling is always a great way to, uh, and it's a great practice to have affirmations, affirmations, uh, mantras, things that we say to ourselves over and over again to create what it is that we want. Talked about a whole bunch of those. And then on a roll for Supersize Your Business, I shared some stories and some lessons learned over the my decades in business with respect to how we create positive momentum. How do we increase the intensity of the things that we want in our business and reduce the impact of the things that we don't want? And I shared different things that have uh, really proven to be helpful to me. Things like focusing on your ideal customer, paying attention to the people that you do want instead of the people that you don't want. Same with employees. We reward and pay attention to the people that are doing their job and even more than what's expected of them. And the ones that aren't, we deal with that separately as well as we don't give it a whole lot of attention because where we focus our attention, that grows, right? So if we're focusing on what we want, we're getting more of that. Talked about that. Uh, do what's right under promise over deliver. Uh, model, implement what works and repeat that. What were some of the other ones? Be aware, be... Um, but mind your own business. I didn't talk about that one. I forgot to talk about the, be aware of what's going on with competition, but mind your own business. Focus on what it is that you're trying to create in the world and don't worry about what everybody else is creating because things outside of us are outside of our control. And we only want to manage and lead and worry about and take any concern or give any attention to what it is that we can do for the people that we want to serve. So great topics today on a roll. I definitely have said, hey, I'm on a roll whenever I'm in a creative process or planning a project or actually documenting processes and procedures because that's right up my alley of fun or creating systems and automating things that work so we can make sure we're getting continuous and the expected results and continually improving results in any area or aspect of our business. Uh, I had a fun time because I was a little bit on a roll coming up with a list of ways to be on a roll to gain momentum and grow and build and supersize our business. So lots going on today. Uh, always is. I don't, it seems like always is. I always think life's going to slow down and get less chaotic and it just gets more and more fun and more and more chaotic. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom, of course, on Supersize Your Business, another daily challenge and action item for the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Welcome to join us for that. It is available. I do it just on my Sharon Horn Elstrom, my name page, and I record it live there every morning. And then I share a daily action item. This year, it's the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. So all year long, 365 days this year, we are focusing on an area or aspect of achieving goals and topics that have something to do with how can we get our goals more easily, right? It's all about getting our goals and achieving our goals and setting our goals. And so we have different processes. We have a process. We spent the whole month of January looking at different processes and different topics with respect to how to set goals. And we selected one. And at the end of every month, I, I don't know, I, it, the challenge morphs as we go about the year. But at the end of each month now, for each of the different areas and aspects of our life, we're going over the goal process and we're applying it to that area or aspect of our life. So for example, we are doing spiritual well-being and spiritual health this month. So on the 24th, we'll start the first step of the spiritual goal process and we'll go through it and you'll, the people that are participating in the journal, including me in the journal, in the challenge, including me, will we'll actually do that step, each of the seven steps of the process each day for the last seven days of the month. Why? Because we want to reinforce that process. So by the end of the year, we all have an automatic process for dealing with, handling, setting, achieving our goals and objectives in any area and in all areas and aspects of our life. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.